I am so excited about the crown coming back. <laughs> so <laughs> am I. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're desperate to watch well, it as well, but everyone else. Well, I have actually seen it, but I'm a huge fan as well, oh, so it is back. And it's so interesting about Harold Wilson and the Queen. You would mm. never in a million years expected those two people to actually... They had quite an unlikely respect in French. Well, very much so. I mean, Harold Wilson was a working-class boy, yeah. got grammar school, did very well, got himself to Oxford and then became Prime Minister Socialist... Uh, very much championing the poor and the underprivileged. His father was made redundant when he was young, and he's that, I think that stayed with him. So he had a kind of social agenda, perhaps. Yeah. And you'd think that they, him and the figurehead of the establishment <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't necessarily get on, but they formed a very unlikely friendship. Yeah. And like we say, it's a drama, not a documentary. We don't really know what the conversations went on, but we yeah. can guess, you know, yeah, a bit an a, educated Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of fact oh, uh, absolutely. as part of it, but there absolutely. is also... It is, it is a drama, yeah. and it's this fantastic mix, which is, I think, what it, it, one of its appeals is this mix between the private and the public. Exactly. The Queen's kind of her personality and what she has to deal with and mm. how that affects her and the kind of pomp and, uh, and dealing with large events, which, of course, both yeah. Harold Wilson as a leader in his respect and she a leader in hers, where they meet and how they explore the nature mm. of, of government. It's so, so I mean, there was one event that I remember as a kid really impacted me and, mm. and anybody that remembers it in 1966, which was the Aberfan disaster. Yeah. When all of those children, 116 children? 116 children, 28. Their school was uh, engulfed adults. by all this slurry from the, 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 yeah, the mines. And, that's, and yeah, that was horrendous. Yeah, and I suppose we did, that is the third episode of, of yeah, the yeah. series. And uh, it's an incredibly moving film. Uh, each each episode is is a film in itself, yeah. and we filmed not far from our van, and the care and attention that was taken Had by yeah, yeah. by everyone in production. And I mean, <clears throat> people probably know. I know people know that I I've lost a child. Indeed. Me and my wife Clara lost it on Maud in 2011. So to go and have an episode about the loss of a child was very difficult. And I think I suppose I above anyone else perhaps uh, wanted to make it. Uh, uh, in the right way, but I think it what it does, it does help us to remember what happened. Oh, we must Other gen pre generations that have followed are not probably not as aware of, of that terrible tragedy. Mm. So it focuses the whole because it's such a big show, the whole world focuses and remembers that yeah. particular that terrible tragedy. So um, yeah, I'm very proud to have been part of that, however uh, difficult. No, it was. I know, but it's really, really important, and like you say, really important to get it right. You and Olivia Coleman, who Olivia mm. Coleman is obviously the Queen. And Oops, sorry, who's the, I, the <laughs> As she's some young up and coming uh, yeah, actress, yeah. I'm sure she'll do very well. Mm. But it's that thing that you've said about the fact that she really sets the tone on set and she's funny yeah. and she makes it relaxed yeah. and that's really important. Well, it is, and I think particularly over a long, a long, a long series and there's many, yeah. many days early starts of film. She, yeah, she's relentlessly positive. I think you get a lot of life in yeah, her yeah. eyes and in her performance because she's it's something always bubbling underneath, something yeah, yeah. very engaging and intelligent and brilliant. Uh, but I suppose as the Queen, she's got to learn how mm. to temper that, how to use it as a, as a monarch. And you were rabbits together in Watership Down, I believe. Yeah, yeah so yeah, I don't know where you were going with that. Um, <laughs> yeah. it, was just, it was nice. Yes. You were really fluffy rabbits. Yeah, fluffy. Yes, no, I'm quite fluffy <laughs> rabbit. Uh, yes, <laughs> we, um, yeah, we did Watership Down together. We never met. I mean, but that we just, just shows you a... how mad your job is. One yeah. minute you're a rabbit and then the yeah. next minute you're the Prime Minister. Yeah, that's right, yes. You know uh, well, I've always, I've always wanted to do that, you know. I've always wanted to do different, different types of... Well, you of do. Things. I've never seen you in anything rubbish. Everything you do mm. is really, really good. We've probably really not seen you in the kitchen on a Sunday morning. That's, well, uh, that's yeah. totally, totally different. Yeah. Now, look, I'm very intrigued that you said your guilty pleasure, um, mine is obviously RuPaul's Drag Race, yeah. yours is Real Housewives of Cheshire. Yeah, I mean, it's Me? Right. People are <laughs> laughing in the studio, Anna. <laughs> I no, absolutely it's escapism. love it. It's escapism. It is right? escapism, and I think that my all mad. my family's from Manchester, so oh, you know. Right, so okay. I think I have an affinity with uh, with, all these with the area, and I just there's something. Just, I can't believe I'm actually trying to justify my view. <laughs> no, it's right. You uh, don't have to. It's okay. I think it's just it sits round. It's pure escapism, and I like totally. you know Stacey Forsey. I love who I I know she's uh, in previous no uh, she's previous series yeah who I oh there she, there she is there no, she is your girl uh, and you know I've met her through charity work and stuff sure. and so. Uh, so, um, it's all complete pretense, and you're laughing at me now. No, I'm whole not. Are laughing I'm with at me. you. I'm with you actually, because my daughter loves all those shows, and mm. when she comes home, we sit and watch them, and I think, oh, for goodness' sake! And you get completely sucked in. You do. Completely you do. sucked in, as we will be by the Crown. I mm. am so excited. Third season starts. Um, it's available on Netflix this Sunday. Yeah, we have the premiere tonight, Fantastic. and then yeah, and it's available. Uh, 
yeah, all ten, all ten episodes. Oh, on God, Sunday. but, but that means binge. I've got to stay up all Sunday night, yeah. and I'll be like this on Monday morning. And I'm luckily I've seen all ten. And I bet you watch it again. It is extraordinary.